One-step equations. Multiplication and division. Tips for solving equations. Show your work. Get the variable by itself. Always check the solution. Example 1. 5x equals 10. Step 1. Identify the operation being performed on the variable. In this example, the variable is x. And as a reminder, a variable is a letter used to represent an unknown value. The 5 in front of the variable is called a coefficient. And a coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable or a number in front of a variable. So since 5 is being multiplied by x, we want to do the opposite of multiplying by 5. What is the opposite of multiplying by 5? If you said dividing by 5, you are correct. That brings us on to step 2. Apply the inverse or opposite operation to both sides. So since we said x was being multiplied by 5, we are going to be dividing both sides by 5. So notice how the fraction bar represents division. If we focus in on the left side, we have 5x divided by 5. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we can cancel out the 5s, which leaves us with x. If we focus in on the right side, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. This moves us on to step 3. Check to make sure the solution is correct. So the first part of checking our solution is to rewrite the equation. 5x equals 10. Next, we will substitute in 2 for x, since when we solved, we found out x was equal to 2. So now we have 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So notice we have 10 equals to 10, and both sides are equal. This lets us know our solution is correct. So the solution to this equation is x equals 2. Example number 2. x over negative 4 equals 2. Step 1 is to identify the operation being performed on the variable. In this equation, the variable is x. And just like in the last problem, the fraction bar means division. So we have x being divided by negative 4. This moves us on to step number 2. So we want to do the opposite of that to both sides. So what is the opposite of dividing by negative 4? If you said multiplying by negative 4, you are correct. So we are going to multiply both sides by negative 4. If we focus in on the left side, there's one little thing we want to do to make this easier and that is change that negative 4 into a fraction. We can change any whole number into a fraction by making the denominator 1. Now since we have two fractions, we can cancel out the negative 4s, which leaves us with 1 times x. And 1 times x is equal to 1x, or just x. If we focus in on the right side, we have 2 times negative 4 and 2 times negative 4 is equal to negative 8. Now moving on to step number 3. Check the solution. We start off by rewriting the equation. So x divided by negative 4 equals 2. Now we can replace the x with the negative 8. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 equals 2. And negative 8 divided by negative 4 does equal 2. So 2 is equal to 2, it's equal on both sides, which lets us know our solution is correct. So x is equal to negative 8. Now I have a couple more problems on the screen I want you to try. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve the problems, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's check it out. For number 1, x is equal to negative 5. And for number 2, x is equal to 60. If you answered either of these incorrectly, I would recommend you take some time, review the work, and try to find your mistake. 
Thank you for watching.